So, dear future me on the Zorp today, have a cup of tea. This video I was inspired by the fact that I was looking for like ideas on how to do like a results day video because I talked a lot about how to deal with results today like last year. So I thought I'd do Dear Future Me on Results Day. This was inspired by I do apologise. By Unjaded Jade's video which she called Dear Future Me on Results Day. And I'm getting my results and if you've known this channel for a long time. I've been resetting my English and waiting for those results. I'm not like very nervous. I'm a bit but I'm excited to find out like what I've actually got in them. Like whether I've passed where I've got a five, maybe even a lucky six, not that I need a six. But I am aware how nervous it can be because I got very nervous last year. Like I was really nervous. Like if you watch any of those results day videos back that I did and my results day video that I vlogged, you will see how nervous I was. I thought I'd do it because it is coming up, like it is coming up to results day. The scariest thing about results day is not knowing whether you're going to get the right grades you need to move on to that next step whether it's college whether it's uni whatever it is whether you're gonna have to reset certain subjects whether you're gonna have to reset a levels whether you're gonna have to reset your maths and english gcse's you're gonna have to reset subjects it's that scary thing of not knowing what grades you're gonna get which is scary so the best thing you can do is keep an open mind about it. Don't just think of the worst, but think of the best scenario as well. You could have done amazing or you could have done bad, you just never know until you've opened that envelope with your results in. And I know that I've worked hard, I know that you've all worked hard and how not so easy it's been with like we've studied in a pandemic we've got through it and that's all that really matters i know myself i've worked hard i know i've done all the revision i've prepared for my exams as long as you know you've worked hard revised there's nothing more that could have been done now all you have to do is just wait i'm afraid there is always a chance to reset there are always other options like gap years, apprenticeships, going to a different uni, there are so many different options, resitting, whatever you decide to do. I know this is kind of the practical way of thinking but it is so true, there are so many different options. And you will get the grades you need to go on to that next step, hopefully. Maybe it will be the grade that you think it's going to be. Maybe it won't be the grade you think it's going to be. But just keep an open mind about it. Because you never know what's going to happen until you've opened them. And those grades will take wherever you're meant to go. And at the end of the day, grades are only a stepping stone to the next step. Like, they're not determining your whole life. Like, they will eventually become irrelevant. And at the end of the day, as long as you pass, it doesn't matter. You're more than your grades, it's about your personality, your qualities, your skills, you being happy, all of those important things, more than just grades, like you are more than what's on your piece of paper. With your grades on, on results day, and don't ever forget that, so I hope this was somewhat helpful, hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in another video, bye.